good question. I think this is a very important question. What, uh, what I would like to clearly say that this COVID is an evolving field. We do not know which drug is working, which drug is not working. That is, it's a lot of drugs are being repurposed for the use of COVID, whether it be for prophylaxis or for the treatment of COVID. Now we all know that chloroquine is a very old anti-malarial drug for several, I mean it's been in use for nearly a hundred years. And, and uh, the hydroxychloroquine is even safer. And if I do not know, I belong to the generation when uh, we had inland letter, inland letter cards to hote the, jis mein chitti likhte the, us mein gole bane rehte the, malaria ki goli, char pehle din, phir do dousre din, do tisre din, wo bana rehta tha. So it was, it, it was widely used drug for malaria and it still is a widely used drug for, for malaria. So now, the biological plausibility was supporting that it is possibly an antiviral drug. Once we got the biological plausibility and we also felt that uh, we had conducted some in vitro studies in, uh, in labs in the test tube and there was data supporting that also. So in vitro studies were conducted in the past and published in several papers in Nature and other magazines that you know of which showed that it has antiviral activity. We did a similar study in vitro that is in the test tube and found that it is an antiviral drug, it has antiviral properties. Now the, it was very popular drug suddenly when the American government also started using it and they got a fast track approval or emergency use authorization for, we had uh, thought that it may be a useful drug for prophylaxis, uh, for prevention of uh, of COVID and taking the biological plausibility one, taking the in vitro data and taking the, the availability and the safety of this drug, we had recommended it for uh, as empiric use under strict medical supervision about a month and a half back. And then we also said that some studies should be started and to look at where is hydroxychloroquine uh, Perform. During these six weeks or five and a half or four, four and a half, five, six weeks, we got some data in India and they were mainly observational studies. Some of them were case control studies which uh, uh, and some of us were observational studies in different cohorts which were done at uh, AIMS, was done at uh, ICMR, the case control study and also uh, and, and, and three public hospitals within Delhi. And now it was very difficult to do a randomized trial of something which we say may benefit. So randomized trial was not possible. So we looked at the data from these observational studies as well as from the case control studies. And what we found that we found that it may be working. So therefore, and we also found that there were no major side effects except nausea and that was from the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission results.